Is history going to repeat itself? Is Navi, is Navi going to make this comeback? I think this game is Davai Navi. Yeah? 1-1. One, one. It's hard to go against what we saw with the CK versus Razor matchup yesterday and this Brood pickup. Switch, switch, switch. Yep, Chris Lyon staying the cold on top game. of that puck. Yeah. There, there was that one game where they were abandoning uh, their oh, the base. In some trouble here, General locked him in with a cogs, but he's completely out of damage. So he's entirely he's reliant on battery assault, and he's just not getting the ticks he needs to be able to get the kills. And Aiko tries Three to help, and he gets it just barely. He goes for the TP out oh, nicely, yeah, lovely. and he does make it out. Nicely played. Okay, so we want to check out the Nightmare that's currently setting up the engagement, the Razor. Trying to steal some damage away from Crystallize, and they'll have just enough. Round and round we go. Where it ends, nobody knows. Only Navi knows that. Oh, okay, so they are swapping once again. Like Franco for general here. Telekinesis. He's gonna face forward. He goes. He actually tries to trap Fada inside of the cogs. Yeah, Fada doesn't that, care. That was not the play. He's saying the okay's. Okay. He's confused that that one. <laughs> he definitely could have lived if he just cogs. Uh, so the answer is unlikely. Navi finally get the lane set up that they kind of wanted, but as a result of all these swaps, do you really even want these lanes anymore? Uh oh, Ace. He may have stolen the damage from Seneco, but Jenna will stand and fight with the battery assault and the limited amount of right click damage that he does. Ace oh, turns. Ace what is, is he doing? Turn? Oh no, he's trying to turn. Now the creep wave is here to be able to tank up so their battery assault, but the maledict is gonna tick him down. Finish him off on the second tick. The tangos were just not enough regen over time. Geared towards. Fueling their TPs. <laughs> like, I, I'm mid lane, that after. Mid one. Crystallize is actually going to join his allies in killing mid one. Probably because the Dragonite popping his ultimate and threatening that tower. It was such a big oh, commitment. He's dead. He is dead. But it, it's only a level two wisp. Not even close. They pop the shrine. He's good. Vada keeps moving forward. They pop the healing salve. And now a turn from Crystallize with the help of Roger. Uh, they they want to go for this. Down. Here comes Yapsor, though. He's going to toss him into Crystallize. Gotta Underneath the, the tower first. range as well. They go for the sleep. Holding him in while they finish off Roger with right clicks. They'll get him. Now Crystallize left alone. Oh, he knows he's seconds. dead. He's going to go for the kill on Vada, but can't get enough damage out in time. He's helped his team to shove down all the towers, open up the game a little bit. Puck having a much easier time than he did last game. A catch on Sineko here in the mid lane. Oh, <laughs> Steals Voodoo steal? Restoration. Toss him back. I can't imagine and this And is... Fada's closing in for the kill. Yeah. Might have to use Coil for this. He didn't want to, but he has to. Really didn't want to. Pops Shadow Blade. Oh, if he catches... right back in. He wants He's going to be able to grab Sineko. Right next to the Tier 2 tower. The Plasma Field easily blowing him up. Now, General came in pretty quick. Managed to lock mid one in. Here comes the relocate. In close. They're going to be able to get uh, not just one kill, potentially more. With the relocate in, they're going to be able to get the Razor as well. They're turning around here. Yapsor only steals a rocket. He can't do much with that, so he's going to try and make it a TP out. He does make it. Barely, but the two important kills, two cores of secret, very, very end big. up going down. Very important rotation, though. That's going to firmly cement his lead. Number one in net worth. Has that Mask of Madness oh, now. No. Roshan is an open opportunity oh, no. for them, too. It's like added insult to injuries. That cast just keeps bouncing back. The poor puppy off of the neutrals. But he does have some allies in. Fada. Fada about me. Oh, that is a long grab. But Fada still has the blink, so he's good. Yeah, Ace, Ace actually. He's going to be the here. one kind of caught here. General tries to go for the dive. No shrine activatable. Crystallize pulls him back, too. Secret coming in one by one here. Midwan's here now, and he's going to go for the quick kill onto Roger. A lot of AoE damage onto both Dendi oh, and Crystallize. Crystallize. Brings him down to half HP. He's going to link him up. They've got a shrine up. <laughs> go, Yapsor, go. Now still relocate, too. That's Let's... true. It's Dota 2. And... As Navi are fully behind that sentiment. But really good fight so far from Navi. I mean, Secret. I can understand why Navi group up so much. It seems to work out for them so often times, right? That yeah. bottom fight where Secret tries something, met by so many heroes of Navi. They managed to get another engagement, oh, though. The Quickly Brood would be a huge one kill. Two. Broodmother goes down. That's the biggie. And they're going to transition this into a mid push as well. Rubik just linking up his DK. I mean, there's just something about that that looks so ridiculous. But it's working. Like, mid one can spam as a result of this. I mean, Secret's like... Oh, I, I think the they... long grip. <laughs> I, if that leads to a kill, the yeah, Absurd's here for the pickup. Crystallize and General are going to try and fight this one. Phantasm goes out, managed to get the They've pullback on A, so the paralyzing cast bouncing over to the Bane as well. It's going to stay on the Crystallize, even getting Absurd in the back line. Two easy kills for Navi. 
secret, get greedy, and they split apart. I thought they learned their lesson, Blitz. We saw that bottom lane engagement, didn't have the full five. Top lane engagement kind of trickled in one by one, but then they finally grouped up his five around mid, and I thought, all right. He still has more net worth than the CK despite all that happening, and they don't really care too much because they are getting towers in general. Oh no, get booped right in front of a Haystrun, picked up by mid one. Eats his way through the cogs, gonna try and just run away. General's gonna be the easy kill for Secret. Paralyzed Cast bouncing back over to Seneko. And Dendi making his way forward. Okay, but... now it's a three versus five. Navi, I don't know how they possibly win this one. It's gonna be Roger who ends up going down from they it. They want to keep chasing for this. Yeah, Fata's they kind of Crystallizing the back. TP out. Yeah, Zor the, the cask. 17 to nine will turn to 18. Yeah. Even though that sequence kind of went poorly, they still took that mid tier two. They did a lot of damage to the bottom one. And this is a blade mill clockwork. He is catching up in farm. And now Crystallize is also catching up as a result of these relocates. Pop the drums preemptively to go for the kill on general. TP coming in for the Witch Doctor, but it's looking like too late. Already kill secured for secret. Bada trying to finish off his Vela Discord. Throwing some pot shots onto this tier two tower as TP comes in. Oh, waits a little bit too long to retreat though. Gets caught by a hook shot from General once again. He said he would learn, Blitz. That was General such a cool play by General. Away. He pushes him out with the cogs. Make sure during that time period you can't face shift yep. when you're... Back into that high ground area. Navi are still playing in their off lane jungle this whole entire time. The ward <laughs> is going to be taken away. After actually tries for the initiation here, throwing him into mid one. Fast kill on the Witch Doctor. Phantasm popped up by Crystallize. You Navi don't still this. don't feel like they can take this engagement, even though they've committed the Phantasm. They're trying to back themselves up. Roger's going to be caught here. Burst damage galore for Secret. Yeah, and, and CK, his illusions, just going to run away. They should know that these are all fakes. Yeah, they see Phantasm out, and they're like, okay, we picked off two. Now we might have caught the real Chaos Knight here. Fiend's gripped up. No save from anybody, so that's going to be three down. Oh. Plus, Phantasm yeah, stolen just... for Yapsor, so... The key is, does he have the luck? Get that extra illusion. He did, right? No. He's got four, yeah. Oh, that, four yeah, it's he only got, level two. I, sorry, I thought it was level three. No, no, no. There's a bunch of Rubik's hitting him. It's like insult to injury. He does get the extra one. Yeah, yeah. And there goes the mid lane of Rax. Navi can't really do much about this. They're still going to try and initiate, though, but they don't have the Phantasm. That's a big damage dealer. Dandy's going to go for Ace here. Losing his some of his damage, but Ace is still going to drop. It looks like Dandy was able to overwhelm him. In the back lines, they're trying to go for the Wiz, but it's oh, not enough to get the first kill mid one. He goes for the BKB teleport out, but his BKB doesn't last long enough. They get the stun down, and Navi, they do oh, successfully win deep. this. Fada tried to go for those supports in the back line, but they're they all healed up. Too? Now Fada. TP's back to the fountain and did not have Malatic on him. Invis dub. Does he Dendi? Dendi. Here's the stun. He's caught. He, he's going to end up dropping here now. He has an extra life, so it's about whether or not Navi are able to fight around that one. The paralyzing pass does buy a little bit of time, but the BKB goes oh, off for Dendi slow. just trying to make it back. The extra web goes down. Run, Dendi, run. Gets back to base. Oh, General Intercept man does manage to get the cogs in, but could it be Fiend Script immediately? Now, they did have the Chaos Knight coming in. Looks like in the secret shop area, Dendi's going to go straight for Ace, trying to get that kill outside the web. Does manage to get oh, it. here comes Crystallize. Crystallize. He killed the support. Now comes back in and gets an extra one as well. Crystallize, though, out of his illusion. The AoE damage from Bulbata and the cleave out from Midwan is too much for them to handle. They lose all their damage. And now it looks like Navi are going to be forced into multiple buyback. He does have a lot of cheap items. <laughs> He's still being beat out by the Rubik. Yeah. Is he? Oh, wow, he is. <laughs> he really is. By 100 gold. That's like our measuring stick right now. Yep. Uh, but Dendi is really far forward. Mid one invis. Okay, they Doesn't see have mid the gem one, anymore. Right? That was their sentry. Oh, oh the, the BKB, BKB barely goes off in time. They just didn't have an instant stun. Midwan's fast enough. They're going to try and go for the relocate out. They're out. Whoo! A, a second too late. Let's Both see if they can actually fast. keep the Wisp alive. But the instant stun of Midwan, it seems unlikely. But they're going to try for it. Snake still kind of hanging around. He's going to go for the paralyzed the cast. They're going to fight with the Phantasm out. They're going to go for this one. They can try and go for the Razor first. He's already dead. Fought it controlled up. Does man and face oh, it. Oh, Dendi is doing so much damage. Dendi. He's just killing all these heroes. The Maldict on the mid one. He doesn't have a BKB. He's going to drop as well. No, he did it. They win this fight. Take down three.
overstaying their Whoa. welcome completely, and now they've got to do something with this. Okay. <laughs> General goes down, Fada. Take that, Fada, but... Oh, no face shift! You they need the kill for this? No face shift! That is not a trait they want to be able this to... This would be a huge kill. Off. Blink up, two seconds, but it's not going to be up in time. He ends up going down, a one for four trait now. I mean, again, he's still being ignored. Not as much. Now they can actually... It feels like the Na'Vi has progressed enough in damage that mid one is no longer completely untouchable, and he's like the last person they go for. They're still going to go for Ace first, but they can turn on the Dragonite yeah. afterwards. Once his BKB's uh, duration is done, you just kind of die. Yeah. And that's the scary part about these late game scenarios is once the BKB's uh, timers get to like these five seconds, once you can't abuse that 10 second BKB, people die really easily in Dota. This and again, Clockwork Blade Mail gets progressively stronger. Yeah. And BKBs are always feel weaker when you don't have like really fast damage. Yeah, but right, mid one, invis up. He wants to look for something. Oh, they're the going to be able to catch General and throw him into Seneco here. What a great setup by the Paralyzing Casting is to low things down, but mid one with a BKB and the Splash is going to be able to take one kill. They're healing up General a lot, but it's oh, going to cost like Roger this. his life, and it looks like General's still going to die. Oh no, Navi just is beginning to get some glimmers of hope. They lose three, lose their Who's gem. Who's got buyback? No Walker. buybacks on the two supports. Was that? I thought the courier was a clockwork. Did he have a blink? Oh, they're gonna go for the Rosh on themselves. Oh, as that's sneaky. Secret. They're gonna spot this. They're gonna find the Witch Doctor. They're thrown up into the high ground. There's the Blink Dagger from General going straight for Yapsor here, trying to control him, and he does not have a force staff to be able to get himself out. But inside the Roshan pit, they're trying oh, to stop so the Roshan. Oh, it's so low. Denny's going all in for it right now. Onto both of them. Denny full on committed for the Roshan. The BKB being used for this as well, just to be able to get that extra life and cheese. They'll get it, but can they win the fight afterwards? With no BKB on Crystallize and most of their supports gone, it seems hard for Navi to turn on this one at all. They're gonna be controlled off on Crystallize. Denny trying to kill the sentries just to be able to stay out of vision here as he's trying to escape with the Aegis intact but not going to be able to do it. He loses that extra life. Crystallizes down as well. They may have won the Roshan fight, but oh, did he even make it out? Five they for get zero. the Roshan, but they lose the fight. They got the Aegis, but it cost them all their lives. And Secret, they sense blood. That's got to be the end. Yeah, Na'Vi. I mean, they battled their way back, made it exciting. Both their cores gonna buy back in this one last attempt, but without BKBs, might not be long for this world. Steven fight on this first lane of Rack, so you go. Nah, they're going for one. it. All right, Maledict on mid one. He does not have a BKB, so if they could focus him down, potentially sleep, actually buys them a little bit of time. That crucial second is so big. Now Fauna comes in with a big AoE. They turn against the three, and they're splashing through every single one of them. Seneca will call it GG. Navi are out, Secret are in. Secret getting another opportunity to play in this tournament. Navi, unfortunately for them, I mean, they made this game so rough for Secret for a long time. Even with that 20k gold lead, it looked like things were turning around. But Secret, they saved their smokes. They were able to make those aggressive maneuvers into the jungle, caught Navi. Navi thought that the game was kind of evening out. They're like, Secret, they're probably going to respect us a little bit more than this. They're not going to invade in the jungle. We have some time to catch up. And boom, they shut the door. I think secret. I mean, do you think they were kind of reading this?